My name is Clayton Webb. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Kansas. I do research on international political economy and time series analysis. I teach the first half of the time series analysis course and we spend most of that time doing univariate time series modeling. So we begin with uh, AR and MA processes and then cover unit root test and non-stationary time series. And then we do arch-garch models, which stands for autoregressive conditional heteroscedasticity. So rather than modeling the level of the time series, we model the volatility of the time series using sort of the same AR and MA components, uh, but for the model for the conditional volatility rather than the mean. And then we end with transfer function models and dynamic regression models. Hi, my name is Sarah Mitchell. I'm from the University of Iowa. I'm in the political science department. Um, I study international relations and political methodology. And I, in particular, focus on international conflict and conflict management. I teach time series analysis, the introductory course. Um, I teach the third and fourth weeks. In my half of the class, we have two assignments. One is a uh, regression-based assignment where the students um, learn how to uh, model the relationship between three variables. And so they learn how to um, set up a regression model, how to capture the best lag specification and dynamic specification uh, for that data. Um, and then they, um, and the fourth assignment for the class, which is the second in my part of the course, they uh, do a vector autoregression assignment. So, so we give them a data set and then they estimate the vector autoregression model. They do tests for lag length. Um, they do Granger causality tests. They plot impulse response functions and um, do the forecast error variance decomposition. Um, but basically it go through all the steps of the VAR model. So there's four homeworks over the course. In my portion of the course, we have two homeworks. The first is autoregressive moving average and unit root test. And the second is uh, an arch-garch model uh, homework assignment. And then Sarah has two homework assignments, one on vector autoregression and one on dynamic regression models. We have a wide variety of students who take the course, ranging from, you know, undergraduates to graduate students and some professors who come back for additional training at ICPSR. Um, I would say typically we have PhD students. Um, the most popular majors uh, or programs that people come from are uh, political science, economics, criminal justice, uh, sociology, public health. Uh, these are some of the um, typical students in our courses. The skills one should have coming into the course are if you have a basic understanding of regression analysis, then you can understand time series analysis. The, there's, a, there's a part of any introductory regression course where serial correlation is discussed, and it's discussed as a problem in the data that you need to get rid of. And if you understand ordinary least squares regression, then you can begin with the course and, and should be able to be successful. One of the best things about our class is that we're a really social group, and uh, we usually have at least uh, two or three times where the class goes out for karaoke and um, where we, we usually have a group song that we sing at the end of the class. So, so if you like to have a chance to get to know your fellow classmates, I think you'll like our course.